Hello, welcome to this MagiCAD Revit new feature webinar video. This is a new feature for MagiCAD 2019, which is the MagiCAD class detection tool. This enables the user to view uh, class detection in real time as you're modeling and also class detection as a report. So you can analyze the entire model um, at any point in time. So what we'll do, we'll look at how to create uh, couple of clashes, whether they're soft clashes, which means they're within a tolerance because they're near each other, or hard clashes that were actually colliding physically with each other. And we'll look at how you can configure all the settings in this and uh, how that works. And then we'll look at how we can create a clash detection report and share that with a project team. So firstly, the situation here where you can see we have a, uh, a duct. I'm just going to extend this duct. Uh, and just wrap it round a corner and you'll see it how it, it collides with the other duct next to it now and you'll see how it reports this red um, hard clash so we know that that's definitely interfering with each other so them ducts are definitely colliding this here is a pipe I'm going to do the similar thing with that so if I hit create similar and just extend this pipe down this one should be a soft clash because I've set it up so it just um, runs over the top of the duct but it's within a soft clash tolerance that's been set up for this project and you can see that's turned yellow so I know that that pipe is missing the duct but it's very very close to be a, uh, a soft clash there where within a certain range of tolerance uh, but that services to services obviously you want clashing between architecture and structure and service as well so how do we do that well if I just create another duct to run down here what I'll do, I'll just create a duct to run down this wall and what you'll see is it also turns yellow as we run down the wall because what's actually happening there is the uh, soft clash, i.e. the duct uh, and the wall is within this soft clash tolerance as well and it's, it's reporting that that duct is obviously within that, that limit. So that's how to set the um, the services uh, for real-time class detection uh, but what are the settings behind that well if we go into clash settings here you will see that we can actually uh, run real-time clash detection there with that checkbox that's how to activate that and then you've got a selection category and within here you have lots of subcategories so what this is it's a basically a filtering system so you can set your clash detection to run real time with or uh, in the report as well to be uh, filtered against this so you can actually have a very very uh, large amount of filtering should you wish to do that so for example in ducks if I only wanted to filter out uh, my duck family of round duct work here then I could just uncheck that and just have round duct work check for example or I could check the whole lot again and then uh, similarly for piping and electrical and any, any sort of subcategories of, of these can be can be filtered as well so you've got a very very deep filtering system there and then selection B is to enable you to select whether you run the clash detection against architecture structure and obviously other services so that's why we got a yellow line before with the architectural wall because that's checked and then even more advanced we can actually turn different system types on and off for mechanical vent and piping here so we don't want to uh, run class detection for for example fresh air in you can turn that off and that will dismiss that so lots of uh, filtering available there selection sets to run the class detection against and then if you just click the configure button down here you can see how you can have red and yellow for hard and soft clashes colors you can ignore if you wish to the provision for builders work openings because obviously there might be a builders work uh, hole going through there so you don't want to have a clash where you've got a hole if it's not created yet the hole physically but you know that there's going to be a hole there in the future you can obviously ignore that and then you get your clearance zones which is why the soft clashes in yellow were appearing before whatever figures you put in there will become the, uh, the clearance zone so uh, that's set up uh, to work like that uh, which I'm happy with and then just press OK and obviously that's how that uh, situation is arisen in the view now um, but instead of real-time class detection uh, if you wish to you could also uh, 
uh, run a report uh, having done the uh, the modeling to a certain point so if I click on this uh, class checking here you can see that we can create a report I'm going to do one for the current view if you click info you'll get some uh, descriptions about what the different ranges uh, mean here in this in this list I'm just going to press OK and you can see that we now have a class report and all the clashes will be listed in here so if I just click something like so I can press this magnifying glass and it will zoom to the exact place you can even zoom in and out on the screen behind you uh, if I want to I can take a snapshot of this uh, for reviewing later so I'll just create a snapshot of this view press finish and then if you go to views you can see there's the snapshot I just took and you can also edit it as well um, and just create some sort of circle or highlighter or whatever you want to do to highlight this clash and put a description in there and you can build this up like so as you would do uh, any BCF report if you're a MagicAD user or you're familiar with BCF uh, it's BIM collaboration format and that is the uh, the reporting tool that we use for this class detection and this can be shared with anyone on your project team who's using like Navisworks, Salibri uh, using IFC formats or Revit itself it doesn't matter so it's a completely kind of independent reporting format and then when you've got the report to a certain uh, status so you've got all these reports common all these topics commented on all you need to do then is click export all and then you can just export your um, your report from here uh, so you just put a clash detection report together and then just save it and send that report off to your project team and they can re report back on these clashes and uh, obviously deal with each one in turn so that's the tool in summary. Uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.